Good morning, friends. It's good to be with you here uh, for our e-blessings on this Friday morning. I wanted to share a prayer with you before I shared some uh, news that we've uh, learned about this week. Uh, but the prayer uh, begins as such. Loving God, you see us living in an unsteady and confusing world. Show us that your ways give more life than the ways of the world and that following you is better than chasing after selfish goals. Help us to take failure not as a measure of our worth, but as a chance for a new start. And remind us that we are here not to point fingers, but rather here to lend a helping hand. Give us strength to hold our faith in you and to keep alive our joy in your creation. And we pray to always remember that what happens tomorrow truly does depend on what we do today. Amen and Alleluia. Well, friends, we received some good news this week that we um, very shortly will be able to um, have optional mask use here at the church. We're just waiting for one more number to fall, as well as resuming coffee hour. Uh, and I hope that that uh, uh, is able to happen that first Sunday in Lent when we'll be back to our full uh, worship schedule, uh, Saturdays at 5, 9 in All Saints Hall and 1030 in the Historic Church with our live stream taking place at that time. You know, it's not easy um, to be a follower of Jesus uh, in, in good times, and it makes it even harder to be a follower of Jesus in challenging times. And I think as things begin to open up in the months ahead, uh, it is going to be challenging because we have expectations of how things were before the pandemic. We're grieving all those things that we may have lost, particular relationships that may have been very uh, important to us. And we're really rebuilding and coming back from a time uh, where we have been separated. Um, and so there's a lot of work um, ahead of us. But the good news is we're not doing it by ourselves because this work would be impossible without the love and the help of God. Uh, and I think, as I think about our readings this week that Jesus gives us as a continuation from his Sermon on the Plain, um, you know, if we look at what Jesus says, uh, love your enemies, um, forgive as you have been forgiven, those things aren't easy and we can't do those on our own. And if we can always remember that we don't have to do it on our own, we do it uh, because God has given us the gift of Christ who has done most of that for us already um, and that we can place our trust in Christ. And so in these weeks and months ahead, uh, as we continue to get back to um, a place of whatever our new normal might be, um, I ask you just to, uh, be patient with one another, be patient with our community. And um, rather than thinking the worst, um, I'd give everyone the benefit of the doubt because this has been such a hard time uh, for so many. And so to be able to extend that grace to others is going to be really important. And that really is what sets us apart from the rest of the world. As a Christian community, we are to behave in ways that almost appear foolish and impossible to the wider world. But that's why we're here, to be examples of Christ's light and love and to make the world into what God envisions it, envisions it to be. And so I continue to hold you all in prayer uh, and I look forward to seeing you in the coming weeks in worship and being able to see your faces and your smiles and to share a cup of coffee with you um, as we get back to uh, doing the work that God has given us to do. And so I pray for blessings on you and I'm excited about all that God has planned for us in the months, weeks, and years to come. God bless you all, and may this day be filled with joy, and may you be aware of God walking beside you in all the ups and downs of life. God bless you, and we'll see you on Sunday.